Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. This is your boy Polo with Polo Fields Line Service. I thank you all for tuning into my channel, and I hope that you all are having a blessed, blessed day today. Now, in this video, I'm gonna take you to a line that I'm doing a renovation on. So the customer got in touch with me, and the customer told me, "Hey, Polo, man, I want to have one of them thick green lines, man. I want to have a money green line, man." I was like, "Okay, man, I got you." So. As I got to look at the lawn, as you can see in these pictures, man, I started seeing crabgrass, I started seeing spurge, clover, nut sedge, just about any weed you can think of. I mean, it was literally 65 to 70% weeds and 30% grass. So I told him, man, look, we gonna have to start over, man. We need a clean slate. So he gave me his blessing to go ahead and start over. And what I did was I put some holy water on that thing. And you know what? Let's just get in the video and I'm gonna show you what it looks like right now. <laughs> Now, of course, you can see there's still some wild valid kind of percolating in there. I'll make sure that I put some holy water on some of those things. Some of the pieces of grass that got missed or there may be some crab grass. There's a big spot right there that got missed. But I'll put some holy water on those things just to kind of get rid of those. Uh, I'm going to scalp this whole entire lawn and, and then I'll spray it again. But as of all, how it looks right now, it is pretty, pretty Kentucky Fried Chicken Crispy Brown. The flags are because the customer got an irrigation put in. This is the best time. They went ahead and got that put in right before I did the renovation. So of course, there won't be a thousand water hoses all over here just trying to uh, keep the seed wet. Wherever you see flags, that's where irrigation heads are. And of course, I'm leaving them there because once I come back and put dirt in and do aeration and things and stuff like that, I won't hit these heads. So you got irrigation heads all along the parkway going all the way up. You got irrigation heads up there, up there. This little area, I'm gonna get some of these little rocks. I'm gonna get these rocks up out of here, fill all of this stuff in, especially over there too. I'm gonna fill the stuff in in that area. I'm gonna fill this in right here. Just some typical spots that I'm going to fill in with some dirt, you know, and then kind of clean everything up, make everything level. I'll try to have the footage for you all for that as well. So what I'm about to do is I'm about to try to scap this as low to the ground as possible. And then I'm going to just start prepping it, spray it again, get it ready for when I come and do everything that I need to do. So I'm gonna get started. I'll tell you right now, work like this is not for the weak. So I'm basically scalping it. All them dead clippings, man. Scalping it all the way to the ground, as low as this mower can go. It used to look like that. Well, it didn't look like that. It really was kind of bad. That grass does look better. This is what it looks like. It's nine o'clock in the morning. It's hot out here. You see me sweating. Can you see me sweating? Whew. You see me sweating? It's hot. But this is pretty much about it. This is what we're looking for. Of course, I'll rough all that stuff up, add some dirt. You won't see the soil contact. This is the soil. This is what we're looking for. 
If you have any dead grass in there like this, that's okay. That grass will just keep the seed from moving. Don't worry about that stuff. Some people will go and get trucks loads of dirt and put all the dirt and stuff down and you gotta do it this way, you gotta do that way. Look, if you don't have the money or the machines or the trailer to be able to get those things, look, just do the best that you can. Do the best that you can. It's not that serious. Now I'm about to change. Ooh, let me get in the shade. As you can see, I'm in t-shirt, shorts, I'm about to put on my PPE, you know, I got my mask, long sleeve, long pants, boots, and I'm gonna do a final spray on this thing. PPE is important. If you're doing things like this, make sure that you're using it. So there we go, people. Everything is mowed all the way down to the ground. Got my Gatorade. It's hot out here, y'all. Overall, overall, she's good and scalped, as you can see. She is crispy. That's what I'm talking about. Kentucky Fried Chicken crispy. Whew. Everyone's lines look super money green, but trust me, it's not. Let me tell you, it is hot out here. And of course, I don't have any footage of me actually doing the work because I left my tripod at home. But that's all right. Only thing I did was I basically scalped it. I mowed it all the way down. Um, I sprayed it again. I put some holy water on it. It's already Kentucky Fried Chicken crispy. It's gonna be even more crispy the next time I come back out. I'm gonna come back out. I'm gonna put some dirt into those little spots, fill it in, kind of level some things out and doing all those things just to get it ready for when I do the actual renovation. Uh, I know a lot of people have different ways, different techniques that they do renovations and things and stuff like that. This is just how I do mine. Uh, the main purpose is to get seed to soil contact. So that's the main thing that I'm going to be looking for. But like I said, I'm going to come and I'm going to put some dirt on this lawn, kind of even it out a little bit in certain areas. And the day when I do the renovation, that's when I'm going to do the renovation. As y'all can see right now, it's hot. It's probably 10 o'clock and it's smoking right now. Thank you all for tuning in. This is just one lawn that I'm going to be renovating. And when you come up the hill, this line is going to be money green. That's how we want it. Thank y'all for tuning in. One thing's for show, two things for certain. Just know that we work. Peace.